Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about this fragrance. It's from a French company called Woodio Haute Perfumery. I believe it's abbreviated to just Woodio. And all of their fragrances have this look to them with the orange and the brown. And the scent that I'm talking with you about today is called Anima Curious Intime. I looked up what the meaning of Anima Curious is because there's like the components of animal cure, which is sort of like leather and IS, probably meaning to do with or, or relating to. And I couldn't find anything that it means, just this fragrance came up. And then Intime, means what you think it would probably mean in French. It means intimate. This is a thin wooden box with a hinge. And then inside is this satin. And there's their logo in here. And then there's the fragrance. Just comes out like this. This is a 50, 50 milliliter bottle. It's a nice box. I do appreciate this box. And then the cap is a strong magnetic cap. You can easily pick it up by the cap. And the bottle is a thick glass that is totally opaque. You can't see through it at all. And it says made in France on the bottom. I purchased this fragrance in 2022 off of the Lucky Scent website. And at that time, Lucky Scent was selling four fragrances by this house, Woodio. And this was one, and I got a sample. I used up the entire sample. By the way, when you get samples from Lucky Scent, you know, they don't have a sprayer on them. You can actually buy these uh, tops that fit the Lucky Scent samples. So it's a sprayer top. Looks like this one came off, but the sprayer is here. It's a little chunky up here, but it actually fits. You, um, it, These come from Amazon and they have their own, uh, I don't believe it's glass, but maybe a plastic vial that they come with, but you just remove that and snap them on here, and then you can spray your scents, your, your samples from Lucky Scent. So I wanted to share that with you because that's really important. So I used up my sample. Within a couple of months, used up the sample and decided to buy a whole bottle. I paid $180 for this 50, 50 milliliter bottle here with the box, of course. When I decided to order the full size bottle, I also ordered from Lucky Scent a sample of each of the three other fragrances that they were offering at that time. And those fragrances are Vanine, Amande, Azur Own, Azur Own. And that's like a spicy, fresh scent, light spicy. And then Sap Essence, Figo, Figotative. And this is a Fougere. It's a nice Fougere. It's spicy. It's got some really interesting spices in it. I haven't looked at the notes. And then the other one that I got was Mousse d'Arbre Gris. And this is woody. And woody and spicy, woody, and also animalic, a little, slight bit. And there are some similarities to this one. But I haven't ordered any other bottles from this company. I got the sample, I loved it. I wore it on my skin and I used the whole sample up and I thought about it for quite a while, maybe longer than two months about whether I'm gonna spend $180 on this bottle, but I finally did. And then when the bottle came, I was so excited and I tried to wear it. 
And I just found that I really wasn't reaching for it. It's just, I tried so hard, but it has some notes and accords in here that are very distracting to wear, specifically the animalics. They stand out quite a lot. And I find it's, it's hard for me to appreciate the animalics in here because they stand out. I would say too much. I think they're overdosed. I think this is trying too hard to be animalic and I don't like it. There is something and I'll read to you what the website has because you know, these are, this is listed on for Grantica, but I can no longer find this, this house being offered on Lucky Scent. Lucky Scent is no longer selling anything by this house. And so you can only buy it either on eBay or you can buy it on, on their website, the, the house, Woody O. They do have an Instagram page, the house of uh, Woody O. Has an Instagram page, but it might be in French. I'm not sure. So it's hard to get information about the house other than just what they provide on their own website. So looking at their website, it says, we are currently selling only via our own website. Very soon, we'll be sharing our new online and on-site sales points with you. Hmm, okay. And then I'm supposed to click on the bottle. So I'm gonna do that now. It's hard to navigate their website because they put so much energy into making it like, a presentation almost things are moving <laughs> a little um yeah there's a woman dancing in circles with a long flowy dress on in the background of the print now it's not going to happen when i click on the bottle how do i find the bottle oh so they're only selling one two three four five fragrances right now the some of these that i have samples of apparently discontinued and so, oh no, I'm sorry. The one that I want, I think, want. <laughs> yeah, there's one called Mousse d'Arbre Gris. And I believe I like that one a lot. That's the one that's woody and also a little animalic. Yeah, they are still selling this one. Okay, and then three others. So then you click on the photo of the bottle and it takes you to a new window where you can read about it. Wow. And things are popping up in front of you. The English needs to be uh, edited, but you know, that's fine. I'm glad that they have it in English. Okay, so they list the, the top notes. Let's see, first, no. It says 50 milliliter Eau de Parfum, 20% concentration. That means that 80% of this is alcohol, perfumer's alcohol. And the 20% is the perfume concentrate. What else do they say? It says, oh, I can't get to my info that I need because of things moving so much. They're charging 178 pounds for this. No, euros, 178 euros. It says for, for the, okay, the, I can't read it fast enough. It goes away. Okay, this is, this is less, much less than ideal here. Hmm. For those who are not ashamed of showing their natural glamor, I'm just gonna say here that this, I don't consider this glamorous at all. And I don't think I would consider a man glamorous if he were wearing it either. Before today, I went to their website and copied the information, the text into my notes. So I'll read to you from that because their website recently was updated and it's just really, 
frustrating. So it says that this fragrance is from 2021 release. And it says, be prepared for another dimension of masculine to unisex sexiness. Earthy patchouli strikes through celestial bro bronco resin spiraling up with precious and powdery iris, gradually landing down on leathery eagle wood, rolling on melted Styrax resin by covering itself with amber dust, then upheaving again with spicy warm arborvita tree, spreading its wings to confront daringly the sky, marking its territory on the clouds with its animalic accords of erogenous castorium, addictive gurgen balsam, and tempting musk. An incontestable head spinner for dates and with monstrous longevity and sillage. And then the notes, top notes, bro bronco resin, French iris, Indonesian patchouli, and the heart notes. North American Eaglewood, Javanese Styrax Benzoin, Baltic Ember, Turkish Rose, and in the base, Synthetic Siberian Castorium Accord, North American Arborvita Tree, Sumatran Gurgen Balsam, Synthetic Casturi deer musk accord. And it says vegan, no animal ingredients, cruelty free, not tested on animals, eco-friendly, no harsh chemicals used for the extraction of fragrance molecules. So when I smell this, just from my own memory, I think it's either tonky tone musk, which is a synthetic a uh, musk that is inspired by deer musk. I think I think deer musk here. Okay, so that was the last uh, that was the last accord that I mentioned was the synthetic castory deer musk accord. And then they also say uh, Javanese Styrax benzoin. And I pulled out my Styrax. I have a few different kinds. This one is called Liquid Amber Styrax. And I was surprised that it does remind me of this and it smells kind of like deer musk. Now I never use this in a large enough quantity to smell like deer musk when I put this in my fragrances, but this smells animalic and I'm quite certain that Styrax doesn't come from an animal product. Yeah. Then I got out Leather Accord here. Doesn't smell too leathery, honestly. I can see it being a synthetic castorium though. Yeah, and then this one, Russian Leather. This is a synthetic Russian leather and this smells, it smells like it has this type of thing in it. Yeah, it smells like that. So it smells more animalic than it actually is. Then they, oh, let here, wait, here's Castorium. Yeah, so it reminds me of, like, it, it could have that in it, but the Castorium is not as prominent in this fragrance as I would want it to be. Castorium, synthetic, it it's just so wonderfully uh, earthy and animalic in a way that isn't off-putting in my mind. It's more neutral and it gives, if, if you're making a leather accord with it, it's it's really nice, but I don't smell leather in here. I think they use Castorium, but I think they should have used more and less deer musk accord. And then they mentioned Bro Bronco, 
resin. And I recent and I recently got my hands on some Gro Bronco because I have a favorite fragrance that has it and it's discontinued. It's a discontinued fragrance that has Bro Bronco. Bro Bronco is a uh, Amazonian tree that is at least 85% related to frankincense tree. So it's a it's what they call the Amazonian frankincense. It doesn't smell the same as frankincense. It has a different a different smell that I had not really smelled before. Let me find it. I found my Bro Bronco and I had I purchased there aren't many places you can purchase this. This is Bro Company, same spelling as Bro Bronco. And this was like, this is pure essential oil, five milliliters. I paid $60 for this five milliliters. So if you wonder why indie perfumers um, need to charge so much, this is why. Wow. This kind of smells a little like turpentine. A lot actually. It smells like turpentine and turpentine comes from a tree. So even though turpentine smells synthetic, right? Don't you think that turpentine has smell when you've smelled turpentine, it smells synthetic? I think so. And it's not synthetic. It, it probably has some chemicals in it that are synthetic, but turpentine must be made from something from a tree that gives it a chemical smell or what we think of as chemical, but there are lots of chemicals in nature. And um, this smells very chemical-like, which is cool. It's cool. I like chemical smells. I'm glad ever since I started to learn more about frag heads and myself being one, I realized that it's, it's totally fine to enjoy certain scents or notes that aren't typically considered pleasurable or nice, you know, like the dirt accord or um, you know, rain, wet soil, and um, gasoline. It shook me when, when people started mentioning, I noticed that people were mentioning that they liked the gasoline aspect to Fahrenheit, for instance. And I was like, yes, I like it too. I like it when I know that it's not real gasoline, so I'm not going to like kill my brain cells by sniffing it. And this fossilized amber is off topic but this fossilized amber that I use it smells kind of like petroleum and petroleum is in gasoline so wow this does not smell like uh frankincense but it is 85 percent similar at least that's what this German man um made a YouTube video he's like a researcher and like a scientist type of person and he was informing us about um bro bronco I looked at Bro Bronco and I found his video. I believe it has like a ceremonial meaning for people in Amazon and they use it to as like aspects of teaching younger people and maybe potentially rites of passage, things like that. So Bro Bronco is in here. Not, not super prominent. I, I want more of it. I want it to smell more like gasoline or turpentine, sorry, this smells more like turpentine than gasoline. And I would like more of that in here. Now there's this North American Eagle Wood. I don't know about that. Uh, and then what else? Baltic Amber. Hmm. Baltic Amber might be fossilized amber. Maybe I wasn't off topic when I told you about that. Yeah, so it's made from actual fossilized amber. I want more of that in here too. And less deer musk. And there's something sweet in here. There's something sweet in this fragrance. And I want to figure out what it is because it's making me sick. Um, I don't smell the French iris, but you know, maybe it's different than regular iris that I've smelled. Um, so there's definitely the Styrax benzoin in here. Rose, you know, I really don't get any kind of rose. Okay, 
Castorium we, we covered. North American Arbor Vita Tree. Well, I didn't know you could make perfume out of that, but I suppose you can make perfume out of anything. And I don't know what it smells like. It's a, I know it's an evergreen tree. So people use it in their backyard to like, you know, instead of a fence. I think it needs to be trimmed a lot. I think it grows fast, possibly. But I don't know how it smells, but I'm just assuming it has an aromatic quality because it's a evergreen and a lot of times evergreens do. And then the Sumatran Gurjan Balsam, you know, that could be making it sweet, but it would also be balanced with balsamic. So I think they probably put some vanilla or something else like that in here because it's just simply too sweet. If you're going to put deer musk, if you're going to put deer musk scent <clears throat> in a fragrance, Please don't put vanilla, you know, be so careful with the vanilla because it's sickening to have vanilla with something like deer musk. It just doesn't go together. You need to use other things to make it sweet or round out, you know, benzoin, coumarin might be fine. Uh, tonka bean might be fine. You know, you can use some balsams. You can use labdana, but don't use vanilla. I don't know what it is. It's not the it's not the Baltic amber because the Baltic amber would be smelling like this fossilized amber. Baltic amber, as far as I can tell, it, it's not the amber accord. It is actual fossilized amber that's been tinctured in a certain way that is able to actually remove some of the or extract some of the fragrance molecules, and they don't smell sweet and they don't smell like amber. Yeah. So in perfumes, you've probably already noticed this, but they do not list all the notes that are in there. They just list the ones, it's slightly on a marketing situation where people will look at the notes and imagine what it might smell like, and they might not want to buy your fragrance if you say certain things are in it or if you say certain things in a certain way. You even want, they. I'm sure they even take into consideration the order that they put things in the notes so that when you're reading it, it sounds good together to your mind. And patchouli, you know, I love patchouli, but I don't get patchouli. You know, I know it's in here because it's in a lot of fragrances, but it's not, and, and I don't think that the Turkish rose is causing it to be so sweet that I feel this way about it. While I was in between making this video, I came back here and I had these, I had these samples sitting out, the three samples that I sprayed from this house. And I was a foot and a half away from where they were. And I was sitting here, I was like, Okay, something smells really good and new, new to me. Because normally when I sit here, I smell the fumes from materials I've been recently using. And I love the smell usually. And I'm like, why can't I make a perfume that smells like this combo that's in the air? And sometimes I do. I often have used that as an inspiration to create a new perfume experiment. But this time it was new and different. And I looked over at these for, I was like, wow, I just sprayed them into the trash can and I'm right here and I'm smelling it from a foot and a half away. So those samples have sillage and it was delicious. I think it was the Fougere, Sapin Sense, Figurative. I think it was that. And it was also the Mousse one. Yeah, that one's good. The mousse, uh, you know, if I ordered one, I think it would be that one. The animalic dry down. Cause it's been, I'll be honest, it's been a day since I sprayed this. And I like to do that sometimes because then I get to see the extreme dry down of, you know, a whole 24 hours plus and see what the dry down's like. 
because this fragrance is dry down is sickening for me. This fragrance is dry down is too sweet and you still get the animalic remains with that, the, the animalic uh, accords remain as well as the sweet and it's just not good together. Yeah, and similar is the Venin Amand Azardron. That one's making me feel sick because the dry down is so sweet, uh, mixed with the animalic. Yeah, but not as bad as this one that I have here. Yeah, and the fit, the Fougere now after a day, the Fougere Sap and Sense Figurative, it's smelling too sweet. Yeah, the Fougere is smelling too sweet. So. You know, before I purchased this, you know, from the sample, I should have sprayed it on or applied it to a scent strip because I have a feeling I might not have bought it if I had focused on the scent strip and that sweet smell that remains with the deer musk afterwards. But, you know, I, I, or I purchased this really early on in my journey and I didn't know what was up and I wanted something animalic. I didn't know anything except these notes that they had listed and the notes sound pretty awesome and interesting and you know they they say where the things are supposed to be from or inspired by you know like synthetic castori deer musk accord apparently castori is a place where you can get deer musk and it might even be in siberia and then they made something inspired by that like a synthetic accord that's inspired by that. Well, let me know if you've ever heard of this house before or ever bought anything by them. And if so, which one? It looks like they're only selling from their website right now. And on eBay, you can get like used bottles or, you know, secondhand. And they sell this particular, they have one bottle of this and I don't think there are any other ones. Yeah, there were two listings from this house and I, I can't remember what the other one was. It, the other fragrance that they have listed is called Anis, Anistheum, Anistheum Chikra. Anistheum Chikra. And it's less expensive, but it is a 1.7 ounce. And then they're charging for this with the, with the box, they're charging $140 plus $9 for shipping. And the back of the box does have some information regarding the notes. 